video i'm going to show you how to use your smartphone to buy your domain name and hosting and host your website with just your smartphone and if you watch the video to the end i will show you how to host your website locally so that you won't have to buy domain name and hosting before you can practice website design using wordpress so now the first thing you want to do is to go to chrome browser go to your chrome browser on your smartphone then you put namecheap.com but i will be using my affiliate link i will be using my affiliate link so you can also use my affiliate link and if you do that i will give you a special gift just click on or check something around this video to see how you can contact me to get a special gift if you use my affiliate link so now i've typed the affiliate link to my browser then the next thing we want to do is to buy our hosting so you come to the menu button you click on the money button at the top right corner of the screen then click on the top of it so click on it then click on hosting so you click on shared hosting and you see different packages and hosting just a website for the client so i'm going for this i'm going for this so since if you have a domain name already you can just select existing domain name. but i am just buying a new domain name so i'm selecting new domain name so i selected new domain name so which will cost me 7.84 dollars for eight dollars sorry so um new purchase i will click on new purchase but if you have it in your cart already you can just click on ready tab but i will click new purchase and i will start for the domain name windows empower dot org the minimum i want to buy so windows empower dot org since it's not available okay it's available i've clicked on it to connect you click on connect so um i'm going to also select selected our shared hosting that's our shared hosting then then i also select this yeah so then i'm not going to select auto renew to make privacy one year which is free subscription then i'm going to snap any other thing stella if, if you know, the the kind of hosting i'm using is stella now it's actually we confirmed our order now confirm our order so you need to sign up if you've created an account with native already you can just sign sign it but if you've not you can just you have to sign up so i will assume i do not have a account with name chip so i will i will sign up so i'll click on sign i'll click on create i will scroll down then i will see create an account to log in so to create an account let's let me create a username password I will, I will i will fill this form now then i will resume this video so after filling the first set of details this was the next uh, page that was brought to me so i also fill this i also feel i'll fill the company name i feel imagine this on the on behalf of a company so i'll put the address of the company i'll put the city i'll put every other details as for the zip code or postal code you can search google for the zip code of your area of the or the of the company you are registering for so fill all details then come here to click on continue so i will pause this video now then i will fill the details then when i'm done we we'll continue so now this is the next page I'll fill the details in the previous page and this is what was brought to me so you leave all this like this and scroll down and select you select save the conversion above to my default checkout settings so you can now click on continue so it's not item you added your card details so I'll add my card details now then I will resume the video so I have uh, entered the card details and I click on continue. So here is what was brought to me. Now we can now finally complete our payment and get our domain name and hosting ready. So now this message, this notification that will be brought to you should be ignored. 
so they are just telling you to select if you have anything that you want to edit if you want to edit your shopping cart if you want to change your who is contact if you want to change your payment details you can just but we are not going to touch them we are just going to leave them so this is your other review yeah so free domain privacy this this domain privacy helps uh you to be able to hide details about your domain name because of hackers so then this is the kind of um hosting shared hosting we bought we bought stellar shared hosting so we are now going to make payments we are going to make payments so you are going to agree name cheap terms or service and agreement okay. we are going to make our payment so i've made the payment now then we can now continue hosting our website so after clicking on payment this world was brought so now just read them how likely are you going to recommend it to your friends so click on next follow up with us yes you can just done then you either close so just 10 years our order was successful and it has been placed so the simple steps that we have to follow to host everything uh I've been laid down here, but I have my way of doing it. Go to the domain name, but we are. Don't worry, I will show you how to host your, how to set up your website. We've already bought our domain name and hosting. So the next thing is to host our website. Since our payment is successful now, the first thing we are going to do is to go and check our Gmail. Going to go and check. Email then chip account to then chip. So so I to wait for them. You have to receive some messages from them, but if not send them okay whatever this is what we are going to do i'm going to go back go back you come here you go to your dashboard your accounts and go to your dashboard or you go to domain name so now we click on this this Click on this, then you go to C panel. And that way you can do that is just to go to new tab, type your website address. We just empower to help you, but the details you have to use should be sent to your to your email if you have to use this option i'm about to show you this is inspire.org slash cpanel cpanel so it's not it has not been propagated but let me just show you this Show you the second. So, this is how your C panel looks like. Let me go back again. Come to your. You go to manage C panel. Log into your C panel through, or you access your C panel through your dashboard on your name chip. So you. you 
just the ES your C panel. So now the first thing you want to do because you want to install our WordPress now so that we're able to access our website. You go you scroll down, then you will go to WordPress Manager by Softaculous. So you want to install WordPress, of course. Then you click on install. Having selected HTTPS, select the latest version of the WordPress, then the site name Windows Empower. Empowering Empowering Windows So here is where to create your uh, create your customized email so instead of admin i will provide support at widowsempower.org so that's all you can now select install so that you install your website make sure you write your password somewhere so that you will be able to because you will need it when you want to access your wordpress for customization so, so you can now install the WordPress and you need to type a an email the installation details will be sent to so I'll be typing my consulting gmail so now click on installation I have to wait for so installation is now successful now this is what you the message you receive or what will bring what it will bring to your screen so you can now access your WordPress by clicking, copying this link, the link with widowsempower.org forward slash WP admin, or you can just click on this to access your WordPress directly, or you can just go to a new tab on your WordPress and say widowsempower.org forward slash WP admin wp hyphen admin so enter input our email so i've now logged in so this is how your wordpress dashboard will look like on your smartphone so here is your dashboard where you can do a lot of customizations and perform and use your website to perform a lot of functions so let's look at us how your website will look like at first before you start full customization you can just go to home click on this and click on website this, this is that so this is how your website look like first what we are going to do a lot of customization in the next video so that will be all for now guys now if you want to learn how to host your website locally so that you won't have to buy domain name and hosting before you'll be able to practice website design. Watch out for the next video. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. Comment below. Like and share with friends and family. And on the notification bell so that when I upload the next video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.